Hello everyone. Welcome back to YouTube channel MJ Manjadi. Today we are going to talk about very important topic. Suffol exam 2526 specifically for maths. Today we are going to see how you can prepare smartly to score your best because here we are going to discuss syllabus, important topic and important questions for Suffol 2526. So in this video we are going to talk about grade 9 student who will be assessed based on grade 8 syllabus so these are the topics like measurement algebra geometry number and operations and lastly statistics and probability so these are the major five topic from where question will be asked now from number and operation the main sub topic is whole number where the competency which they are going to assess is solve operation using whole number so few important questions like solve problem involving five digit number by applying appropriate operation addition subtraction multiplication and division find multiple and factor of given number apply divisibility rules for following number then add subtract multiply divide whole numbers six digit and more then prove divisibility rules of this numbers next one in number and operation is fraction where you need to identify and represent fraction using object pictures and symbol and identify relative magnitude a question will be like identify different type of fractions proper improper mixed like and unlike fraction identify and find equivalent fraction of a given proper improper mixed like and unlike fraction compare and order positive and negative fraction then compare like and unlike fraction represent con contextual situation through fraction represent fraction on number line then solve operation using fraction you should know add and subtract proper improper mixed like and unlike fractions multiply and divide all the fractions next solve real world problem involving fractions like express percentage as fraction or mixed fraction solve real world problem involving addition subtraction of fraction solve real world problem involving addition and subtraction of proper and improper fractions then same solve real world problem involving multiplication and division of fraction next in number and operation is decimal number we represent decimal number in equivalent way either in fractions or percentage so round decimal number to the nearest hundred place identify and express fractions with denominator of hundred and every day fraction using decimal notation and represent fraction with denominator of hundred as percentage round decimal number to any place value beyond the hundred place identify and express fraction with any denominator using decimal notation identify and express percentage as fraction with denominator of 10 or 100 or as decimal and vice versa identify and express percentage less than 1% and greater than 100 as fraction or mixed number next solve operation using decimal you should know addition and subtraction of decimal number up to 100 place then addition and subtraction of any positive and negative decimal number multiply and divide of decimal number by whole number multiply and divide of two decimal number and divide a whole number by a decimal number then solve real world problem based upon addition and subtraction of decimal number to 10th place same addition and subtraction of decimal beyond 10th place multiplication and division of decimal number by whole number and multiplication and division of two decimal number next is integers in integer identify and represent integer using object picture or symbol and identify relative magnitude so identify integer using object picture and symbol represent integers on number line compare and order integers then solve operation using integers add and subtract using number line identify apply and verify properties 
of arithmetic progression on integers and rational number perform calculation involving two or more operation with positive number identify apply and verify property of arithmetic operation on rational number identify common factors and common multiple of two numbers next solve real world problem involving integers so combination of two or more four operations including problem solving of measurement and currency unit so addition subtraction multiplication of positive number division of any positive number by positive two digit number with or without remainder then solve real world problem using multiplication or division of two integers including at least one negative integers the next in number and operation is exponents and root here you need to identify and represent quantities using exponents and root and identify the relative magnitude so question like find the area of square of given length by using formula perform long division and prime factorization on given number to find factors of number find the square and the square root of number solve contextual problem by using finding square and square root then multiply a number thrice with or without formal algorithm find cube and cube root of number solve problem with integral exponents next identify and represent number using scientific notation and exponent compare and order number like identify five digit number in context with place value multiply and divide number express number in exponential form apply law of positive exponent express large number in standard exponential form multiply and divide exponential number simplify and represent exponential number having negative power apply law of negative exponent multiply and divide positive and negative exponential number then operation across numbers here you need to solve operation involving integers fraction decimal percentage and exponent so perform prime factorization of given number perform calculation involving two or more operation of integers decimal and fraction respecting the order of operation next one is rational number where you need to compare order and solve problem involving rational number write compare and represent rational number write rational number between given rational numbers identify and write equivalent rational number represent rational number on number line find rational number between given two rational numbers then next one is measurement in measurement first will be length weight capacity volume area and perimeter so you need to solve problem involving measurement like calculate the perimeter of a square rectangle did you the formula of perimeter of a square rectangle then calculate the area of shape using squared paper calculate the area of square using formula use perimeter calculate the area of triangle parallelogram circle calculate circumference of circle calculate and solve problem related to area and perimeter of square rectangle parallelogram circle semicircle trapezium rhombus then calculate the area of circle area of sector and segment solve problem based on area and perimeter circumference of our plane figure then calculate the area of triangle and parallelogram next differentiate between volume and capacity calculate volume of capacity by arranging unit of cube calculate volume for solving contextual problem by arranging unit cube in cube and cuboid calculate the volume of cube cuboid cylinder using formula calculate the surface area of cube cuboid cylinder then deduce the formula and solve contextual problem on volume combination of any two for cube cuboid cube cone sphere right circular cylinder like this then next one is property of shape and figure so here question can be identify different type of lines and angle identify different type of polygon based on number of their side classification of triangle based on their side and angle identify type of quadrilateral like square rectangle trapezium then identify and differentiate between line line segment and the 
identify and differentiate between different pairs of angle like complementary angle, supplementary, adjacent, linear pair. Identify and differentiate between type of angle made by parallel and intersecting line. Identify congruent plane figure angles. Identify median. Solve problem based on properties of triangle like exterior angle property, angle sum property. Sum of two sides is greater than three sides. Then verify the property of parallelogram and establish relation. Differentiate between type of polygon regular, irregular, concave, convex. Identify square, shape, kite through their properties. Solve geometrical problems related to quadrilateral through their properties. Identify and recognize various polyhedron based on their property. Verify Euler from formula of a given then apply triangle property apply conceptual congruencies triple s sas asa then solve geometrical problem by applying property of angle made by transversal line solve geometrical problem by applying property of parallelogram rectangle rhombus and square next spatial visualization then compose and decompose shape and figure identify front top side view of familiar three dimensional figures like prism cylinder cone pyramid then identify alternate view of same compound or irregular three dimensional shape such as front top side view a rotated view view of a hidden side like this then identify net of a familiar three dimensional figures prism cylinder cone pyramid identify cross section of familiar three dimension same thing the next one is algebra where expression evaluate model and compute with expression so use variable to write a rule of pattern use of variable in writing mathematical formula write expression using variable and arithmetic operations identify different terms factor and coefficient of algebraic expression identify and differentiate between different type of expression based on their number of term add and subtract algebraic expression represent daily life situation in the form of simple equations and solve it multiply algebraic equations like 2x minus 5 into 3x plus 7 applies four standard identities to simplify algebraic expression find value of expression based on given number write rule and formula in form of algebraic expression solve puzzle and daily life problem using variable use various algebraic identities in solving problem of daily life find values and zero polynomial divide given two polynomials find factor of polynomial by applying factor theorem next one is relation and function solve problem using relation ratio proportion and percentage compare quantities in the form of ratio find value and number of unit using unitary method convert ratio fraction decimal number determine and reduce cost price selling price profit loss percentage determine simple interest on given transaction compare quantities in the form of ratio solve contextual problem using unitary method then finding percentage change of any transaction compute discount and discount percentage determine cpsp profit loss all these things determine compound interest next one is solve equation solve real life problem using linear equation in one variable solve in one variable same real life problem using linear equation reducible to linear form write linear equation in two variable in its general form solve real life problem through linear equation in one variable having variable on both sides express real life situation in linear equation in two variable then statistics and probability where data management is there retrieve and in interpret data represented in display so you need to retrieve information from data display that arrange data into category and subcategory with single or multiple unit scale like how many girl like green in this bar chart identify and interpret bar graph double bar graph Interpret data using bar graph such as consumption of electricity is more in winter than in summer. Identify and interpret histogram pie chart of given data. Some support is provided example. Construct a line graph 
when given labeled horizontal vertical axis or match a table to correct pie chart given a range of pie chart options. Identify and interpret frequency polygon. Calculate the empirical probability of a event. Then calculate and interpret central tendencies. Solve problem including real life problem involving calculation of mean, median and mode. Identify and interpret frequency of distribution. Calculate the measure of central tendencies. Then chance and probability. So describe the likelihood of event in different ways. Compare the likelihood of two or more event happening using descriptive word. Like given a picture of a spinner with five equal colored section, red, blue, yellow, green and purple. The question is, if a spinner is spun two times, what is the chance that it will land on blue both time? Then identify happen, can happen and impossible situation recognize visibility in real life situations. Then calculate the probability of a simple event happening with the answer expressed as fraction, decimal or percentage. Find the probability of inference. Find the expected number of occurrence. So one example of the question from topic number and operation decimal where you need to solve problem using decimal. So here question is this. You have to add this to number and this four option will be given to you. You need to choose the correct option like here answer is also given C is the correct option. So students remember SUFFLE is not just another exam it's an opportunity to show how well you truly understand concept. If you focus on learning with curiosity and practice regularly you will definitely do great in SUFFLE 2526. If you found this video helpful don't forget to like, hype, share and subscribe for more educational update and preparation tip. See you in the next video. Till then keep learning and stay confident.